I'm Dave Austin, the founder of Extreme Focus. This is the first time I've gone Facebook Live on our Facebook page. I decided we've got a really great following and I've never really offered a, um, a coaching, just a free coaching to you. If you go through Facebook, you know, as far as on the Extreme Focus Facebook page, you'll find so many useful tools. Dive in and use them because, you know, the only thing that will keep you from exceeding or, or being a winner in whatever it is that you're going after is broken focus. We're called extreme focus, and that's what I've been coaching for years. Whether it's been U.S. Olympic teams, where we've had the best results ever, uh, Los Angeles Dodgers, Texas Rangers, other Major League Baseball players, NFL football players. It's learning how to keep yourself focused. Because what takes us away from focus? It's trying to overthink things. It's um, your emotion. You're, you're nervous about something. All of a sudden, the emotions, the worry comes in, and it gets out in front of your focus. And so what I wanted to give you is just a few tips on how you can, when those nerves hit, when that pressure hits, and you start to wander, you start to get away from the most important aspect, and that is the objective that you've set out to do, the goal that you're going after. And it's really easy to have the distractions. And what has really worked for so many athletes that I've worked with over the years, and now I do this with Army Rangers, Navy SEALs. I also do it with many businesses because you know what? Same thing applies. It doesn't matter what you're doing. What matters most is that these principles step by step by step will get you to the success you're looking for and they apply to every aspect in our beast mode on 30-day challenges that we have if you see a lot of postings on it if you ever join us you'll see all different different types of people on it we'll have military folks on the on the call we'll have pro football players we'll have pro baseball players we'll have entrepreneurs we'll have ceos we've had the chef of the uh president we've had everything actors singers it, it comes all across the board because basically to win in anything that you want to go after, it's learning how to focus on that objective and stay true to it when all the different distractions come. And a lot of times these distractions happen and we don't even know it. They're like these blind spots on us. And so when you begin to start putting a flashlight on your thoughts and you realize that, wow, that's not serving me. That's not going to help me get to the objective that I'm looking for. You know, oh gosh, three months ago, I was invited by uh, folks in the special ops and our, you know, there were some Navy SEALs, Army Rangers to, to have me get a chance to go through and, and learn how they train. And in one of the, uh, the deals that we did that day is I had to rappel down a 120 foot rock cliff. Now, I'm afraid of heights. And you go, hey, you're the extreme focus guy. You should know better than that. You should be afraid, but I am. I'm, you know, I'm a human being. I'm afraid. I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, this is scary. And all of a sudden, I started getting really nervous as I got to the edge of the cliff. And I'm there going. And the truth is, I'm going, these ropes can hold me. Everything is fine. The only thing that will keep me from winning here is if I break my focus on that which I want to do. I want to get my feet down below me. I want to, even though I was nervous. And then as I started to go down, I, I tripped, something happened and I fell, but I just, you know, ropes held me. So I was hanging upside down for a few minutes, but I kept thinking, okay, what do I need to put my focus on right now? What do I need to do to get out of this radical situation? I'm hanging upside down a bunch of bunch of rocks, but these ropes are going to hold me. So I have to trust in that. So I take a deep breath. I know that I have to get my legs under me. I have to get the rope back into position. So I just kept bringing back to focusing that which I needed to, to do to be able to meet my objective. Well, it happens in anything in life. It doesn't matter. You might have a, a business meeting come up, really important meeting that's going to take place. And what you have to do is it, just set yourself three simple intentions. What is that that I want to focus on so that it, you keep it simple? Too many people make it, um, gosh, you know, complicated, and now it becomes harder to achieve that which you would desire. So keep it simple. What are three things that I can intend to do to achieve what I'm 
going after. Then when you get into that meeting, you pre-planned it. You did a visualization. You saw yourself achieving it so that when curves hit, you're already prepared to take, take it on. And you keep coming back to what are the three objectives I'm going after. That is the key in winning in anything you do because you're going to get distractions, either nerves, emotion, outside things take place. But if you're focused, you're still going to get through. Every single success story that I have, whether it's been in business or in sports, all comes down to what did I do or my clients do in that moment when it counted most. And the only way that you're going to be able to step into when it counts most to have right action is to always come back to what's my objective. Take a breath always. Take a breath. Breathe it in. What's my objective? Because it's so easy to be distracted. And the moment you had that distracted, you know, gee, I'm worried about the money. I'm worried about am I going to have enough money to do this. All these different things that come into play, it absolutely takes you into a place that you're not as creative. You're not as as great as you possibly can be. I've seen great athletes all of a sudden not do very well because all of a sudden the pressure hits them and now they can't perform at something, a task that they're very good at, at performing. But see, anything you do, you have to prepare yourself. So there's mental tools and mental habits that we teach at Extreme Focus. A lot of these that we just post, so they're free to you. Go and look at all the animal. Why is it called, why is our training called beast uh, you know, beast in my best selling book, which is behind me, The Be a Beast, is because we have mental triggers to help you get through any situation that you might be in. So stay on this page as much as you can. And also, when you come in, comment. The best way to learn is ask questions. The more you ask, you keep getting the better and better um, questions. Einstein said, if I had 60 minutes, 60 minutes, and I had to solve a problem, and my very, very life depended on it. I spend 55 minutes in asking questions because each question will lead to a new question that leads to a new question, leads to a new question, then all of a sudden, the answer is perfect. It's right there in front of your eyes. Didn't have to force it. Too many people stop and go, well, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, take that first step and then see what you see and then ask the next question and the next it next question all of a sudden solutions start showing up for you you might call it like wow that came out of the blue well you put yourself in a position to have that out of blue experience so remember broken focus is the only thing that's going to keep you from the success that you desire so keep it simple practice all the time see yourself in that environment absolutely performing at your very very best. So I see there's a question up here. What is the best way to repair a broken focus? Well, once you notice that you're, you, you have kind of drifted off and you're allowing the pressure to take over, that's, it's so important to just take a moment, take a brief, deep breath. And here's the real power is then think about some things you're grateful for just in that moment. Think about something that, that, oh, you know, I'm so glad that I'm even here presenting this. And what happens is gratitude is a strength. It's a power. Um, today in our Beast Mode On call, my, uh, my son who plays professional football was talking about it. And he said, it's my secret weapon. My secret weapon is gratitude. It shifts everything. So when you're in that moment of, and the stress is sitting, you just whew, take a breath. Think about what you're grateful for. And then now you've cleared yourself to, to, to kind of be in this moment so you can evaluate this moment and then go right back to your objectives, right back to that pure focus. Never give in. Sometimes what happens is, is you start getting into the old habits and you go, oh God, here I go again. Here I go again. Why do I always do this? Don't allow that to happen. Here I go again doesn't exist if you just stop and say, this is where my focus is. And so you come right back to your sharp focus. So I hope this has been helpful. We'll try to do more of these, but to, to learn and to grow, this is your opportunity. Extreme Focus, this, this Facebook page is an opportunity for you to ask questions. We, myself, and all the other Extreme Focus coaches are doing this every single day with businesses, with 
Army, with Navy SEALs, with NFL football players, Major League Baseball players. So we're at it every single day. So this is your resource. Use this resource. It's free to you. The only reason I could think that you wouldn't do it after you've heard this is because, well, it, that works for them, but it won't ever happen to me. Well, let's start shifting that belief system. It can happen to anybody. I think there's a genius in everyone. It's just learning the tools, how to get your mind to work for you rather than against you. So thanks for letting me uh, share this with you today, and hopefully you'll start joining us more and stay in the competition. Stay in the competition and the joy of life. And remember, take it full on. Be a beast in all that you do. That just means, you know what, full out. I'm going to tap into my animal instincts and unleash them so that, you know what, I'm ready to roar and take on anything with that kind of strength. I'll talk to you next time.